Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about Matterboard. Matterboard, the future of virtual sampling. The first virtual curation and visual sampling app. Or in simple words, the app which can help you create mood boards. Before I start the video and tell you more about Matterboard, please subscribe to the channel and like and share this video. So I found this app when I was researching something about mood boards on Google and LinkedIn and I immediately was fond of it. So I went to their website, logged in and then I saw that they are looking for founding members. So I immediately filled some Google forms, went to into a screening process and then I am a founding member for Matterboard. I joined their Slack group where I can interact with n number of designers, architects, interior designers around the world. And we also help Matterboard in solving the issues about the app, telling about the new features or what else we require in that app. Then I emailed this guy whose name is also Guy and is the founder of Matterboard. I emailed him and chatted about Matterboard and understood what's the philosophy behind the company and I wanted to know all the trick this app has. So what is Matterboard all about and why you really need one? Creating an interior sample board or a mood board and sourcing materials from various vendors is always a task. With lots of money at stake, sometimes we don't even use those materials in our project. And hence, Matterboard. The company's motto is to evolve and they have bought us a tool which is completely online. Before I go into the depth, this is not a sponsored video. Due to this, designers can make decisions in seconds and clients can approve them within minutes. This will save us a lot of time during the project. This tool is completely free and as I'm seeing it, thousands of designers are already signing up every week which changes the sampling creative process from days to minutes. They are changing the way how can brands and manufacturers can reach designers, making the industry more sustainable, affordable and reducing waste. They want to free the designer's workflow for more boarding as Canva did for graphic designers. They have recently added a new feature inside Matterboard and I'm yet to use it. But you can now create 3D textures seamlessly by just taking a picture or uploading a photo. It's like Shazam for interior designers. By using this, designers can be more creative and save a lot of time during their project. I will cover more about this particular feature in the later half of the video. I think now I've told you everything about Matterboard, how it can help designers, what are its features, how to create mood board. Well, I've not told you about it. So I'll show you the interface, how it is. So let's see what is Matterboard all about. I am just showing you the website. Uh, the link is in the description. It's matterboard.com. And let's see what's the website about. Uh, you can call it a tool. You can call it an app. I am calling it a website. So you can see their website. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So elegant. Just look. So you can just start designing from here and you can log in from here. But I'll just quickly scroll down what is the website about. So they are telling how a mood board can be made. Them, they're telling about the motto, they're telling about the V samples, how many brands they are connected with. You can share your interactive board with Matto Board. There are some designers with their design here. You can check out their designs. You can get inspirations from them, how they have made their mood boards. You can check it out here. I'm not opening it right now because there are too many. Then they are telling up the process how you can make a mood board, like how you can do it for the V samples, how you can find it and how you can drag drop your photos or a, a material or a texture you find online. So this is all about V sample and uh, you can subscribe to their newsletter and what you will create and you can again start designing from here. But I'll go to the trends part. And they are now telling you what are the articles and trends about a mood board, about materials, about different textures, how different people are using it. What are the new trends into the interior designing industry? Then it is all about them, how they started, what is their motto, what is their vision about Matterboard. So then comes the V sample. What is V sample all about? A virtual sampling for designers provide with an instant access to branded products 
with the speed they need to create concept boards for clients before they need to order the physical samples to touch so this really bridges the gap between the samples and the designer and the clients where they would understand at one place that how their mood board would look like and you can just explore this and read it out and then if you're a supplier there's a separate page for you how you can connect with them and all uh, I'll just go back to home now and I'll go to start designing where they ask you to create an account so you can sign up with Google or add your custom email password and something like that but I've already have an account so I'll just directly sign in I'll sign it with Google and this is my page if I have signed it with that page I'll start designing now so this is how the interface looks here are object, accessories, paints, collection, templates, images and materials. If you have any past projects, you can see it from here. You can save your current project which will be saved and be seen in the projects part. If you are choosing any materials, you can also adjust its properties. When we insert a material, I can show it to you better. So I'll just explore the materials part, You can what you can do just add a tile you can just zoom in with the scroll button with the right click you can rotate the board and with the left click you can move around the material uh, you can also hide adjust the height by using this particular scroll icon or a button or a leveler here you can do that if you click on this part you can rotate your samples so i can rotate it in this axis i can rotate it in this axis or I can rotate it in a different axis. Just like SketchUp, you get three axes and you can rotate a material, you can do that. So I'll reset it and again I'll come back. I'll just delete it and again add it. Uh, yeah. So when you see any material, you can also adjust its lighting and everything. But right now I've just added a tile, but there is no texture on the tile. So I can go in the materials here, I can select a category and uh, what I want or tile. So I select that and you can see multiple, multiple materials here, multiple textures or multiple designs in tile you can see. So depending on your design, depending on your whatever model you have created and depending on whatever mood board you want to make, you can select those tiles. Right now I'm just adding something very random. Please just don't judge my designing skills here. It is just for your knowledge and the education purpose only. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just select this material and select this. It will change into the tile the sample. So if if I just drag it out, it will create a separate tile for the tile material. But what what if I select this particular part, select this particular material, the tile will change. So that happens. So if you want a separate material, you will just drag it out and dra drop it here. You will have a separate material. If you select this particular tile which I have uh, dragged out from here, you can just select the particular tile and it's done. So you can scroll and see the texture here. If you go to properties, you can change the texture from here. What you want, you can repeat the amount of uh, texture you want on the particular tile. You can scale it, you can make it look bigger on the mode board or make it look smaller and you can also rotate it so right now i'm not rotating or putting any angles here you can rotate it from here or you can rotate it directly from here but it creates a lot of mess so in this video i'm not showing you how to rotate this very easy process you can do it yourself so you can also drag drop a fabric fold you can drag drop an acoustic panel you can drag drop a group of tiles and then apply separate materials for them and rigid panel, a uh, fluted panel we call it, or a uh, cube panel, and there are many more things here. You can also add a filter here and change the categories, whatever you want. So if you want the fabric, there are many, many different types of fabric folds here. You can add it and then add the material to it. But now, okay, I am very new to mode boards and I don't know how I will place the sample. I'm not sure how it will look. Uh, I have to make it very aesthetic. So they have added the templates here. We can just, it is taking time to load. Yeah. So we can just go and see how many items you want. So I want a five item template. This particular part will go now. It is unsaved. 
if you want to save it you can just save it here but it looks very messy so right now I'll just uh, select it here and change the template and I'll add material so uh, sorry I'll add materials here I want this here I want a wallpaper uh, somewhere else I also want wood here leather and yeah so if I want the wood material here I'll select it and leather it somewhere here so otherwise you can just remove all these categories and just have leather I want leather here and uh, which part will look good I'm not sure right now I'm not just putting a thought into it just putting out some materials randomly I want terrazzo I love terrazzo as a material I want this tile to be a terrazzo and I'll select this and add this here I can re increase its height from the base or decrease it depending on whatever wood board I want to have if I want to increase its size I'll go here in the object scaling and increase the size of the object now we want some fabrics so or metals we'll go to metals here I'll remove the terrazzo for to make it more easy to access uh, I want something in gold I've changed it to gold uh, if I want to add any accessories here I'll just go down or I'll just go in the filter I'll go into the kit categories uh, I want some lighting uh, okay I want some plants in my mood board so I, you can see there are multiple plants here I'll just add this plant here uh, to enhance my mood board I, I can also add these leaves here or if I want some faucets I think there are faucets here let's check it just check it I think I'm not finding it right now yeah taps so there are taps here well just make it very messy now uh, I'll add this pink tap and again adjust its height here and uh, you can make a mood board like this please do not get this example in your head it's very messy and it's very bad please do, do not copy it you can make your own mood board you can add different templates from here you can play with it it's a really good tool to play with looks very beautiful then you can also upload your own images but something I like is create this new material so what I'll do I'll just go here add my own material and uh, this name is like a curtain I want this as a curtain I'll add the site where I've downloaded it from I'll just show you where I have downloaded it from just a Pinterest I've got a site from it a random site I'll add the URL here uh, this is a fabric brand name if you want to write you can otherwise no and save it it will take a couple of minutes to save yeah it's saved now so it's a curtain it's a new material if I drag it out like this can you see that they have added a fabric oh, okay ah, yeah can you see that they have added a fabric here which because I have mentioned the fabric material type as a fabric and this looks so amazing in properties you can again change the texture of the map uh, just like SketchUp if you are using SketchUp we in V-Ray we change the map size the texture map size you can change it here you can repeat the number of images you want inside that particular texture you can change the color from here uh, let's make it a bit red and change the hex code or something if you have a hex code you can do it and the texture color also I want as red or let's keep it little bit of white on me yeah so you can change the texture again you can change the size of the sample you can change the height of the sample in this way you can create a mood board and I will save it here and you can also add materials yeah and I will save it here and I will just show you my first project now uh, this is something I made before recording this video and this is my first board uh, I was very excited using this tool I have uh, added again a tap but here I have put a thought uh, I think to add certain materials I think uh, to make it more aesthetic so this is how the first mood board looks like 
if i want to just rotate it with again right click by holding it i can rotate it by scroll button i can zoom in and zoom out and by the left click i can move any of the materials so i think this is it this is how mood board uh, on mato board looks like let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments well i hope your mind is blown after seeing this video you should definitely check out what mato board is the link is in the description and again this is not a sponsored video i personally use mato board for my projects and also made a content about it on my instagram channel the link is in the description you can check out that particular content and for more such videos you have to follow fyr on instagram on youtube on linkedin and many more channels and please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel bye